Hello, just to go over quickly, um, as kind of a readme, uh, I have my four buttons here, and on the left we have our reset, which resets the uh, password back to its factory setting that an admin could do, so which would be 0000. zero, zero, zero. Um, and the next button over to the, next to that is the program button, which uh, is specified in uh, task one, where the user presses the program button uh, to start putting in a new password and then presses it again to confirm it. And then the next button over next to that is uh, the lock button. And this essentially uh, turns off the open LED, which I'll show you in a second. Once it's, uh, yeah, so it does that once it's pressed, which locks the safe. And then one next to that is the confirm. So this confirm button is for the switches uh, input to be confirmed by the user. So they'll essentially create their attempt or entry of what they think the passcode is and then hit this button to confirm their entry. And then each of the uh, 12, yeah, 12 switches uh, are reserved for uh, the four digit passcode, so we can only go from zero to seven since we're limited on our user inputs. Um, so we have three switches per uh, digit on the seven segment display. And then we have our LEDs. So like I said before, open um, is opened once the user hits confirm and their attempt is correct. And then uh, it turns off when we hit the close button. Uh, mode indicates if the user is in the password programming mode, so that's when it's on. Um, and if it's off, that means they're just attempting to put in the password. Then factory is on when the passcode is 0000. zero, zero, zero. Um, wrong is the LED that indicates the user has entered in three incorrect attempts and cannot enter in any more until the LED turns off after three minutes. So, with all that said, uh, go ahead and go through the test. So right now, uh, we have LED 0 on, which means that uh, it is currently open because we're in our factory setting, which is indic indicated by that. So let's go ahead and go through these tasks. So, correct passcode is 0000. zero, zero, zero. Um, user can program it, so let's go ahead and close it first. So we go and close it and you know play with a switch or something like this. Uh, but the passcode is still 0000. zero, zero, zero. So if we hit confirm, it opens. So that works great. So let's go ahead and try to program in a password now. So let's hit the program button. As you can see, the program or mode light turns on. So let's go ahead and do one, two, uh, three, and four. So let's hit, conf uh, let's hit the program button again to confirm that password entry. So we can see the factory mode light turns off because our password is no longer the factory passcode. And the uh, programmability mode turns off too because we are now out of that. So let's go ahead and you know scramble this. Let's just turn that to zero. You notice if we have our confirm button pressed and it's not the correct password, the light does not turn on because that was incorrect. But as soon as we have the correct password, the light turns on because that was the correct passcode. So let's go ahead and close it again. So when the door is open, the user can close the safe, did that. When the door is locked, the user can in the disk password, did that. The user enters the passcode three times. The timer will run for three minutes. So um, we're going to go ahead and put a timer up here. And also, so we've already entered in a wrong password once. So let's go ahead and do it again two more times. And as soon as we do that, we'll hit the timer. So we have one more incorrect, and you'll see the leftmost LED come on, or at least out of our group of four. And that's when we'll start the timer. Uh, and confirm, there's the LED, it's incorrect. Let's start the timer. And essentially after three minutes, <laughs> might be a little bit, um, but uh, yeah, after three minutes, the incorrect LED will turn off. But so let's let the timer go. But essentially, 
we cannot, even if we have the correct password, we cannot confirm any correct passwords and have the door open. It's wrong, still can't do it. Um, yeah, we can just to show you a little bit more functionality of the switches. Yeah, still nothing. Yeah, we can't really do anything at this point. Not at least until the three minutes are over. Nope. So we have a 50 second clock. Guess we'll just wait here. Totally understand if you want to fast forward through this, but I uh, just wanted to prove that it actually works and it's three minutes, or at least you know, really close to it. Um, yeah. And the last thing that I'll go ahead and do, so really quick, the timer's still going to keep going, but I wanted to show the extra credit that I did, um, which allows the admin to reset the code to 0000. zero, zero, zero. And that's essentially my reset button, which is the leftmost button um, over here. Um, and that will essentially reset uh, the factory passcode and it will reopen the safe. So I guess in reality, that reset button uh, could be somewhere hidden for like an admin or manufacturer to find, not exactly for a user to have. Um, yeah, I also think, I mean, um, <laughs> we weren't required to have the seven segment display, but um, if you wanted to give extra credit for that too, um, that'd be cool. <laughs> like it wasn't too hard, but you know, if you uh, feel that it's deserving of extra credit, don't mind at all. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like we got 30 seconds left on the timer. But yeah, as far as uh, extra credit goes, yeah, besides the uh, this admin password that I'll show you after the timer's over and the seven segment display, did pretty much everything else that the thing asked for, but here are two minutes, 45 seconds. So at three minutes, we should see that LED turn off. And I can show you the, uh... oh, there we go. Perfect, actually. Um, so yeah, so that LED turned off, and if you notice, um, so let's go ahead and turn everything back, or let's go ahead and put the passcode back in. Okay, I think it's one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and enter that. Hey, look, and now we can open and close the safe at will. So the last thing I wanted to show you, like I mentioned before, nicely displayed by the 7 segment display, is the reset button. So as soon as we press this, it should be opened and the factory light should go on. Perfect. And that concludes my video, I think.